Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. I feel I am so lucky that I don't have any brother to tell me what to do, and I have enough freedom to decide what to do in my life. Mm -hmm. And I would say that uh, sort of freedom, although it was very limited uh, uh, freedom in context, uh, in comparing maybe with other cultures, that um, was enough for me to uh, grow. Uh, at least uh, in my family, uh, I didn't have anybody to oppress me. And that gave me enough space to grow. I was uh, so active as a, one of uh, a student uh, movement uh, figure, and then with the reformist movement. And after we created uh, a political party out of uh, Khatami's uh, headquarter campaign, so uh, we thought that the time is to having a parliament that is going to support idea of reform in the country, political reform uh, in the country for bringing um, press, uh, uh, for uh, you know, amending press law in the country, for defending women's right in the country, uh, leadership accountability and um, rule of law. All of those great idea inspire all of us to, you know, get majority seat in the parliament mm -hmm. and to work. And uh, so I did, and I represented people of Tehran. It's a long story to make it short that <laughs> how it happened. Generally, I can say uh, many people in my generation, generation of revolution, are like me. The idea of revolution, a uh, maximal theory of religion, a uh, revolutionary uh, ideologic version of Islam, it was created at least two decades before victory of Islamic revolution. And not only me, on those days, I, I can say out of 35 million population of Iran, 30 million believed that uh, uh, revolution an Islamic revolution is the best solution for uh, solving all the problems of the country. But people like me, who we were, we, we were in practice. We were in, you know, we practiced all these ideas. We we were in executive jobs. Very soon we found out that it doesn't work. Anyway, I was arrested while I was at the head of IDRO, that uh, big company of Iran. First time, it was 24 hours, but second time, it took about 75 days. Uh, at the first time, I heard while I was in jail, first of all, I saw some scenes, because you are blindfolded, but I tried mm -hmm. to see what's going on in, in the corridors of the prison, and I saw several prisoners, young girls and boys, are seated down and they are blindfolded, and very sad, sad scene. And later I heard uh, torturing of a young girl, and she was saying that I do not have, I can't tolerate anymore. And I heard from the, the interrogator shouted that uh, you, some, some bullshit he, he said, and said that, uh -huh, you can tolerate some lashes from uh, the interrogator in this world, so how you can tolerate the punishment of the God in 
in the other world. I said to myself that who has persuaded this guy to be a, a, an agent of the God on the earth? And the person who believes like this can do any criminal, can, can kill anybody.